Hey guys and welcome to another bridal look from me. I already posted a picture on Instagram and I know you guys are patiently waiting for this look. So it is finally here. I went ahead and filmed it on Tenny, so let's get started. I'm starting with the Aura Gold 24 Karat Vitamin C Booster and this is an amazing product. It really brightens the skin and the main ingredients in this is 24 karat gold as well as the uh, vitamin C. So after the skin is really nice and glowy, I go ahead and apply a primer and if you watch my videos regularly, you know that I only use Murad primers. I think they're so, so good. So I'm using the matte finish on her and then after that, moving on to her eye primer, which is of course the primer of gods the potion by urban decay and this is um, the anti-aging potion I'm starting with the original naked palette and uh, I'm using virgin to really create a beautiful highlight on the inner corners of the eyes and then moving on to amber lights by MAC and this is a gold eyeshadow I absolutely love this eyeshadow I feel like every makeup artist should have this and I apply this with a flat brush and then of course I go back in with my 217 by MAC and really buff this in and I take this color all the way up to her crease Next, I'm using this color by Sigma. It's called Grasp. It's a beautiful coral color, and I like to use this just on the crease and really blend it well. Next, I'm using Handwritten, which is a dark brown color by MAC, and I'm using this just on the outer corners of the eyes. Again, applying it with a small flat brush and then blending it with the 217 and even going back and blending really well with the 224 to make sure there are absolutely no harsh edges. So you want to just build intensity as much as you want using the same brown color. This one's handwritten, but I also really love Brune by MAC. So once you've got the intensity the way you want it, you want to go ahead and wipe away all that mess that we, you know, created and move straight to the liner. This is a Maybelline gel eyeliner. So you want to get the line as close to the lash line as possible and always get the inner corners of the eye. So have the bride look away from the brush and get those inner corners and then have her look at you, place the line where you want it to be and then just trace away. All right, this part is very important, so try not to miss it. You wanna grab a straight brush, and this brush is by Mud, and it's number 400. Um, and you wanna blend over that eyeliner that you've just created. So you wanna dip the brush into a black shadow, just very lightly, and then blend over that eyeliner. And it just creates a beautiful fade. So as you can see, it's not as harsh as a black eyeliner would be, but you, you could still see the liner. And then after that, you wanna intensify the outer corners just a little bit more using the same color again it's handwritten and sometimes even brune both by Mac and always get that eyeliner on the upper rim of the eye I'm just using a Chanel mascara here uh, very lightly it doesn't really matter because we're gonna pop on some beautiful lashes so once you've got that you want to just go straight to applying the lashes these are by model 21 and it's 16 plus 45 I guess that's the number and these come in doubles so I as you can see love them and I was almost out of them I need to reorder some um, so yeah I love using these guys so they're doubled it looks just beautiful you want to get it as close to the lash line as possible so once the glue has completely dried, you want to go back in and apply a little more eyeliner to make sure no lash glue is showing and that just everything looks nice and clean. Using the Kate Somerville Dark Circle Corrective Eye Cream and this brightens the under eye area instantly. So I love using this on brides especially. On to foundation. Now, I absolutely love using the Makeup Forever HD on brides because it just photographs so well. So I'm using number 153 mixed with a little bit of 120 to create that perfect shade for her. And I'm really buffing this into her skin using the Sigma F80 brush. All right, I'm spraying B6 by Urban Decay and it's a vitamin infused spray. And I'm gonna let that sit there for a while and then move to concealer before I blend everything all together. So I'm using the Pro Longwear NW20 Concealer by MAC. I apply it with the 217 brush but, uh, and then buff it with the F80 Kabuki by Sigma. And then sometimes I even go back in with this particular brush. It's by MAC number 227 and just blend everything. I just want to make sure there are no, you know, harsh edges and everything is kind of just really well blended together. 
I like to always highlight certain areas using the same concealer as well. So I'm um, using a 217 brush by MAC. I go over the top of the nose, Cupid's bow, chin, and the center of the forehead. And once I've done that, I just go back in with my Kabuki brush and really blend everything together. And the B6 spray has definitely helped at this point to really make everything more natural. I'm going to be using one of my favorite highlighters by Kevin Aquan, and this is called Candlelight. Um, I love this highlighter especially because it doesn't have a lot of harsh shimmers in it. It's more very pearly and, and it makes the look just overall glow. Um, so yeah, I like to use this again around the same areas, high points of the cheeks, top of the nose, Cupid's bow, and that's pretty much it. And I sometimes even go over the brow bone to sort of connect everything together. I'm using this bronzer by The Balm and it's one of my favorite bronzers because it does have a little bit of glow in it as well. So if you want your skin to really glow then you want to go with something like this. Um, so I'm just contouring but at the same time really giving her skin more of a color. And I'm using MAC brush number 168. So you want to cover all the areas, so the jawline, the forehead and of course you want to also contour your nose with something matte and this is brush number 4SS by Inglot. I'm going to set her makeup with this Young Blood High Definition Setting Powder and I'm doing this very lightly. Using a straight brush and a dark brown eyeshadow, I'm lining her outer corners of her bottom lash line and then blending everything together with that gold eyeshadow by MAC. Uh, again, it's called Amber Lights. And this is just a pencil brush by MAC, it's number 219. Since her face is already glowing, I'm using a matte blush by Bobbi Brown and this is just a beautiful pink blush and I'm just applying this on her cheeks and blending it up. I'm using the Brow Box in Honey Pot by Urban Decay and I'm just using a straight brush and filling in all the sparse areas but I'm definitely following her natural shape. I'm using the Sigma eyeliner called Boost and I'm just lining her waterline with this. Applying some mascara on her bottom lashes because this really opens up the eye. And lastly, the lipstick. Now, for some odd reason, the lipstick part did not get recorded. I'm really sorry about that, but um, I did get the lip liner and I use all Urban Decay products. So I use the Naked Number no. 2 lip liner followed by Naked Number no. 2 lipstick as well as Protest. So I just use those three combinations to create this beautiful look. And this is the complete look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and as you can see it photographs beautifully so the amount of makeup you have is just perfect. I think it's not too little and it's not too much. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe for more.